friends welcome to my channel how are we doing today we are in the dark amazingly so let's bring in some light shall we um today we are looking at the meal one water soluble aquarellable colored pencils yes that's right color pencils um maybe in another paint session we will be looking at the aquarellable water soluble graphite but today is the color pencil version as you know i am keeping them all in the same tin and i chose the color pencil tin to keep them in so here we go these are the swatches on top of the color pencils you can see they're pretty bright they're able to dissolve pretty well with not much ghosting left behind and they're beautiful colors really they are okay let's see this yeah it automatically went down so as you can see we're looking at 12 beautiful vibrant and bright colors ranging from tropical yellow strawberry red flamingo pink clean purple deep blue caribbean blue turtle green grass green cocoa brown jet black gold and a silver what is not in here is a white i forgot that <laughs> so and it only offers 12 colors which should be enough for color mixing and to blend colors together especially with sets like these these beautiful round and that's something i did not indicate in my first impression that the pencils are round there's no barcoding on the pencils they do have the milan logo there we go the toto Toto. Come on, this is important. Hi, let's move everything aside. See there, Toto481 and the name. And other thing that I've noticed during my, um, what do you call it? My usage of these. Let me bring you guys in a bit closer. Yeah, that it has like a waxy coating on the tip of the lead as you can see there and this makes it really hard to pull color from the lead from the tip of the pencil it really does now it does have a plastic covering because this here that where the label come on yeah the total color 481 queen's purple is written on is a plastic label but what it doesn't have is the the graphite now the wooden surrounding so it's all pencil lead and now that I have introduced the product to you let me talk about working with these products before I do my paint session okay so what I did in my paint session is I re swatched out the Milan uh, woodless watercolor pencils and um, put it in here to see how because this is the 140 pounds 300 GSM paper by you create and I wanted to see how it performed on this paper and it performed beautifully but one of the things that I noticed here even though it did swatch out perfectly without much ghosting as you can see sorry if I bring it in a bit close you can see there's not much ghosting what you can see is that silver shimmer and that's the shimmer the sheen in the gold paint so the gold paint don't have a silver don't have a gold shimmer but it has a silver shimmer and that's what's causing the sheen i actually thought there was a white in it and i forgot so yeah i am not using that i did some this is where i put actually layer the pencil down on paper and then i try to blend it and this is where i blend it separately on my palette here and I try to blend it that way. My frog here has a variety of techniques, including pulling color straight from the lead of the pencil, layering, um, and painting with these. Especially here where I had to mix the color in here for the far end of the frog. Excuse me a bit. I am sweating and I cannot... Put on the fan because of the humming noise it will produce so it is a round barrel i am wondering if this is the max count if these 12 colors are all that comes with this woodless style the colors are vibrant they are water soluble 
they do cover but it feels a bit scratchy on the palette and I have the need to want to sharpen them especially with the waxy coating that it has um, they do blend well there's a smoothness to this beautifully these are smoother than the Derwin and less scratchier than the Derwent. The color that I have here is the Derwent Aquatone. Yes, I do have the Derwent Aquatone. I have a few colors in those, 12 colors to be precise. Um, this is not a set of Derwent Aquatone. This is actually some over-the-counter colors that I bought because as you know, this is no longer in production, so you have to buy it. Over, it's mostly sold over the counter on eBay and some of them I was able to get at Carpe Diem when they still had a few so majority of them all of them actually is bought by over the counter and that's why my colors look so mixed match and even this I thought I had a white and I did not but there is a smoothness it's actually a bit more smoother to color with than the Derwin Aquatone a bit more easier to blend with as you can see here for me at least for my style it's a bit more um, easier to blend with both has color names on them they're both don't ghost but it all depends on the type of brush you use um, I said I was gonna try out their water pen their water brush pen but I decided just to stick with the Princeton Snap Brush. I'm finding myself reaching for this brush a lot, especially when working with water soluble um, mediums. I they, I don't believe these are light fast. For the mere fact that I think these are more geared towards the hobby artist, you know, um, the hobbyist artist or just artists who wants to play around in their sketchbooks or even children or students. That's somebody who literally wants to play around in a sketchbook. I don't think they are gearing this for artists who wants to sell their work to other people. Other observation I made when looking at both of these, this feels very light in the hand. It's like the weight of this these pencils here, sorry. The weight of these pencils is so much lighter than the Derwent Aquatone, one minute. Number the Derwin Aquatone, I'm not even showing you it yet. So the Derwin Aquatone, it feels a bit more heavier, substantial in the hand versus the Milan Woodless. Also, they're more scratchier, they crumble more um, with the Derwin Aquatone than the Milan. I talked about the sheen of the gold. The other thing is, if you notice, it's shorter in size compared to the Derwent Aquatone that I have so and they're both round barrels whereas this have a plastic coating on it the Derwent Aquatone actually have a paper coating on it and even these I felt the need to sharpen so that if I need to sharpen it I want to save my shavings and I prepared a palette to put my shavings in this is my palette Need to clean it up a bit it's just basically plastic shot glasses that I bought for a project that I never did and I put them in this container 24 um, things so I could put the shavings in here and I could basically pile them up without feeling the need to you know overuse or have to use because they're so small I think this is just good enough for me okay so since we have done that to exhaustion um, we have looked at them in comparison in comparison to something that is a little bit more um, in relation to it. Now that we've seen all that, as you notice, I wasn't looking at color for color, which one was better. Um, just looking at, you know, it's interesting, looking at interesting findings. Anyway, now that we have done all that, let me quit my babbering and get to the time lapse.
<sighs> wasn't that a long process that was like an hour and a half long yeah I was really in the zone um, using these pencils as you can see I did a lot of layering with them because they don't layer that much you know especially on your first lay down with them I didn't go heavy I went kind of light and so I was able thankfully these pencils are able to layer um, it was my first time trying to get out a skin tone with this palette um, I don't think I succeeded but it kind of looked like I did which is kind of okay um, you notice in this I did a I played a lot of with the fact that these could layer and so it was bright enough I went back over a lot of things especially for the dragon lizard combo I went back over those um, you notice I also put down some shadows then went back over it with the other color and the shadow remain because again these can layer beautifully and it doesn't disturb the color underneath I'm just checking if one part is dry because there was something I wanted to do yeah this is me guys ruin my painting but I'm sorry I just have to do it <laughs> I am so sorry I just have to do it I've been trying to ignore it for so long but it's just right there and I just want to do it so yeah um so you notice that kind of left his pants white because well you know it makes him kind of stands out against all this dark background the dark green you know he stands out a bit yeah I know I'm ruining it but I can't help it you know when I'm enjoying something cuz it's like I can't finish oh gosh picked up the wrong color or maybe it didn't because I'm swatching the black and what I'm getting off this is brown see brown and it's black I'm swatching which is kind of weird so maybe the stuff is made with some kind of brown the ink I'm trying to do is lighten it a bit so I could get some shadows in here yeah you know I'm enjoying something when I just can't finish I'm gonna finish I promise I'm gonna finish I just want to get a bit of shadow on his pants that's all I want to do just a little bit of shadow on his pants thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey as you can see I am enjoying myself just touching up here and there doing just a little bit not enough yeah I'm gonna put the, the brush down but Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe. Wait, put the brush down. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.